podcast. Brought to you by EcoAlkaline's environmentally responsible batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. I don't know if uh, some of you have already noticed. I see Chris Reich. Yeah, buddy. Um, some in the chat room are, are noticing as well that I've switched to Ubuntu. Mm-hmm. And this is 12.10. And I did this uh, because I was having some trouble with comp is anywhere else. And strangely enough, right, Ubuntu would be the one that solves all the comp <laughs> problems. But out of the box, Ubuntu didn't really have a lot um, set up for it as far as comp is effects or anything like that, which is cool. We can, we can fix that. Um, so just wanted to, you know, one of the things that we do here at the show that's really, really important to us is being able to zoom in on things, right? If I bring up a website and people have said to, to me before, well, how do you do that? Because, you know, if you're watching this on your little 3D iPhone, <laughs> for example, and it really, really helps that I'm able to do that for you because I can make that text readable on any device. Sure, if you're watching this on a 52-inch TV, you can see it like that. But for those of you at home who don't have that ability, that really helps. So that's called Enhanced Desktop Zoom. It's a feature of Ubuntu. If it has comp- It's a feature of Linux with Compiz. It's a plugin for Compiz, which is a compositing manager and, and desktop effects and windowing manager and all that stuff. It does a lot of very, very cool things. But unfortunately, it's kind of at end of life. And so we're starting to see different, applica- different versions of Linux that it's really, really hard to get a good working version of Compiz these days. It's unfortunate. Um, but with Ubuntu, it obviously works. But out of the box, there is no... Um, no enhanced desktop mm-hmm. zoom. Mm-hmm. We really needed that, so I figure that you may want that as well. Easy way to activate that in Ubuntu 12.10 is to go into Software Center, and uh, we're going to install something called Compiz Configs uh, Com- Compiz Config Settings Manager, and that's going to allow us to modify the settings that we need to modify. So just do a quick search for Compiz Config, and you'll see it there. Highlight it and click on Install and literally takes just a moment to install, not going to take long at all. And this application, be very, very careful with it. You can break everything. I'm going to show you something that's not going to have the possibility of breaking things. This is not one of those cases where I'm going to say, click around and experiment. You don't want to do that with Compass Config Settings Manager. So now launch it. The first time you launch it, I've already launched it before, um, so you'll you'll get a warning, but it warns you that it's dangerous. Go do a search for Zoom and bring up Enhanced Desktop Zoom, and you'll see that it is enabled down at the bottom left there, but Zoom In is disabled, so we're going to enable that. And we're going to click on the Super button, that's the Windows key on your keyboard, and change the drop down to button 4, that's the Up scroll wheel, and then hit OK. Now for Zoom Out, we need a way to zoom out as well. Uh, Click on Disabled and go Super Button 5, which is the Scroll Wheel Down button. And now we've got the ability to zoom in and out. Just by holding our Super key, our Windows key, and using the Up and Down Scroll Wheel. So that's fantastic. One of the things with Ubuntu is that when you hold in the Windows button, sometimes it brings up that helpful dialog that shows you all the hotkeys. So we're going to actually change that behavior. Type in Unity into the search and go to experimental and scroll down a little ways you'll see one that says um, down here somewhere enable uh, shortcut hints overlay we just have to turn that off there we go and that's literally all there is to it we're good to go and now we've got that very very cool effect that allows us to zoom in and out on our Mm -hmm. desktop and it works really really great for doing what we do because we want to be able to zoom in yeah, yeah. And people would say, oh, well, we don't really need Compiz anymore, but there are use cases, and we're one of them, where zooming in is a really, really helpful tool. Another really good use for enhanced desktop zoom, which is available in Compiz and Wayland, uh, is for accessibility. People who have really poor eyesight, there are magnifying glass tools that allow you to have a little, you know, little section of your screen dedicated so that as you mouse over stuff it would zoom it in there Mm -hmm. but you can see that the usability of this feature being able to actually physically zoom in on your applications is much more useful uh, from an accessibility standpoint as well Mm -hmm. 
So I think it's going to be hugely missed. But in the meantime, 12.10 Ubuntu, uh, we've got that working just fine. Really easy to set it up. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.